this is Greg from Nitty Boy, and you are watching Behind the Song. On the last video, I told you that we'd be talking about the song The Path, which we will. But first, I need to apologize. Yesterday, I told you that Rejuvenate came out sometime in the year 2002. But I did say, if my memory serves me correctly, it didn't. I was a few days off. Rejuvenate came out in 2006. So you can see I missed it by that much. Now fun fact, the next album, Reboot, came out in 2012. So there was yet another six year gap between those two albums. But I'll tell you about that a little bit later. Anyway, back to the song, The Path. Um, if you remember, last video I told you The Path was merged with Promise Not on the album. Uh, Promise Not went right into The Path and they're both based on the same Bible verse, Deuteronomy 31.6, where basically it says God will never leave us or forsake us. The difference being this song is from our perspective calling out to God. And uh, it just ties in really well with Promise Not. In fact, there's even a point in the path where I refer back to Promise Not, like in the bridge. It actually does the chorus again and has the same, some of the same instrumental uh, feelings and stuff. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool the way that works out. Um, they could actually be released as one song, but then it would be a 10 minute song and nobody wants to hear a 10 minute song, apparently. I mean, I do, but then I know my friend Bob does, but I don't know how many, how many other people want to. So anyway, um, this, like I said, this song is from our perspective calling out to God. The lyrics go something like this. Can you tell me why? Can anyone tell me why? Why is life so difficult at all the wrong times? What is it that we can do? Who is it we can go to? Who can make a song when the lyrics do not rhyme? I'm quite fond of that line, actually. I thought, you know, it's kind of a pretty cool line. Um, anyway, let's move on. It just makes no sense, at least not to me. I know I'm not blind, so why didn't I see? You told me to beware of the enemy's snares, yet here I am trapped. Please set me free. And then it goes back to the uh, promise now, where it says, I promise not to cause you pain. I promise not to walk away. I promise not to lead you wrong. I promise not to leave you lost. I promise not to let you die. Then the final verse, and this is where it touches on God's mercy and grace. Like I told you yesterday, this, this whole album, the theme is God's mercy and grace. So the final verse goes like this. Can you please come make sense fall into its place? I know it's here somewhere, it's just been displaced. I'll follow you, holy God, as you guide me through life's facade, down the trail of your mercy and the path of your grace. Down the path of your grace. So that's the that's the song. Musically, the song definitely has an 80s vibe to it and it's very guitar dominated. As the guitar, it, you know, chugs throughout the whole song pretty much. So that's about it for this song. Um, if you haven't seen my Kickstarter campaign yet, please click the link below, uh, check it out, and while you're at it, go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell.